Hey guys, happy Saturday to you all. This is take two, take two of this video making. So I just made another video. Wanted to put an outfit on Miss Lucy. Didn't fit her because it's a newborn size. So it's quite clear to me that she is definitely a bigger baby. It does definitely it's noticeable in certain outfits. So she's definitely a one month size for sure, or zero to three month size in a lot of things. I mean, it really depends on the brand, but one of the rompers I got for her, I actually got a newborn instead of a, you know, zero to three month size or one month size thinking that a newborn size would fit her because she is supposed to be a newborn size. And all the other Janicas I ever had were more of a newborn size. They were, they were definitely smaller than this particular Janica, but she was made much later with the softer silicone, and my guess is the mold stretches after several uses, and she had already started using the same body mold for Jan Jan and all of that, so that's what my guess is. I, you know, I've always known this baby was bigger than the original edition. It just proves it because <laughs> the one romper, not even close. I couldn't even button it around her neck, so I just scrapped the video, and here we are. I put a different outfit on her and today it's sunny here you guys just let me preface this by saying that it is sunny it has warmed up a huge amount I am so happy like for the last two weeks guys we have had freezing rain tons of snow like you wouldn't even believe it like we had winter all over again in the last two weeks it's been the most depressing stupid situation <laughs> it's been just miserable here, which does affect my mood. It affects how I feel. It affects my energy level. And let me tell you today, I'm just a happier person. So here we are. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to go to the movies to see a movie with my family. We're all going to meet and go together, which will be fun. And I wanted to take some time and at least dress Miss Lucy, which I did. I put her in her new Paz Rodriguez little it's like a half knit and half cotton top with a bow around it um it's absolutely beautiful on her oh my gosh you guys so i just put her in this i'm going to share with you look at this outfit it is like the prettiest little outfit. sorry i'm trying to like maneuver get my hands on this correctly look at how pretty this is on her and this is also a newborn size so i was really wondering if she was going to fit into this but it fits perfectly. If it were any smaller, it I wouldn't want to leave it on her. It would be just like the other one looking like yeah, I couldn't even button it all the way up. I just she's a chub. Clearly I'm feeding her well, guys. <laughs> and blue is not a color I usually put on my dolls. I'm usually all pink, all purples and just pretty pastel girlish colors, but I wanted something different. So I went for the light baby blue because I wanted some different pieces in her wardrobe that don't all look the same. And this is gorgeous. And I think this is one of their very original ones. Like this has been out a while. And it's still one of my favorite styles because I think I had one similar to it with the pink on the bottom and the bow around the front. But I don't think it was this exact one. But similar. But look at how dainty the details are. Paz Rodriguez knits are gorgeous. They're very expensive. But I think they are very worth it because the quality of the, the actual pieces are just, they're beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. And granted, it's not warm enough that she'd probably just be laying around in a romper. But I just, I'm so sick of seeing winter clothes on her. I just wanted to try on something really nice and summery and just soak up the fact that the sun is out. <laughs> it's like spring actually arrived for a day. But there she is, guys. She looks really precious. And I love the bow detail but isn't that gorgeous you guys but it's still frilly you know it's got the little frilly I don't know if you call them cap sleeves because they're not it's just a lot along the tops and then of course around the neckline and I love polka dots so I love this little bit of detail I'm a detail nut anyways you guys this you guys already know about me that's why I love some of these brands so much but yeah so there she is so success, we got her in a cute outfit and it actually fits. Luckily, you know, the bottom portion stretches. <laughs> so it's not extremely tight on her, but I wouldn't want to have it be any tighter. But yeah. But interestingly enough, guys, so I was going through my emails later yesterday in the evening. 
because I was one trying to clean up my mailboxes because I, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I am one who keeps all correspondence with any artist. Like I have emails that go back to probably seven, eight years ago from purchasing like PayPal receipts for every doll like I've ever purchased. Like I don't throw, I don't, I don't delete any of those. I just keep them in the file. And then I move things around and clean them up every once in a while when I don't need them or, you know, I should go through and delete them. Well, as I was doing that last night, I stumbled across this baby's all the email correspondence with Claire when I was purchasing her. And that includes all of her photos from when she was sending me photos before she sent her home to me. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I must have forgot about them, first of all. But I love looking at the artist's pictures. I think that that's one of the most special, amazing things because one, she took the pictures just for me. The baby was being sent just to me. You know, it wasn't like, you know, she was, you know, putting the doll on eBay or anything like that. So she specifically took pictures for me. Her pictures and her lighting are absolutely amazing because she was showing me her new technique of painting with a really ultra realistic you know, it looks like she has blood pumping through her veins. You know, all the things that I rave about her painting style, she was trying to get in all of Miss Lucy's pictures that she sent to me. And so I've moved them into a folder and I just love looking at them. It's like revisiting and regetting the baby all over again and remembering the anticipation of being able to bring this baby home. It was like it flooded, it brought, it was like a flood of emotions came back to me like when I first got her. And let me tell you, it's just such a special feeling to have because nobody else has those photos other than Claire. Nobody has probably ever seen those photos other than me and Claire. And I'm just so excited that I have them because it kind of is part of her portfolio of all the things that I keep for her. And I now have a nice album of her original artist pictures and she just looks absolutely perfect the same, just as the same day she was being sent to me and I just I love that I love it as a keepsake and I'm kind of funny like that I really do like having these special things that go with each baby and I like to make sure I have all of their special things so I'm glad I stumbled across these again so that I could one revisit them and two keep them so should I ever want to print them out or just just have them and I have them in like kind of a, a slideshow pre like I have it set up so I can just have it as a slideshow, you name it. I can do whatever I want with them, but it's great to have. So I don't know if anybody else out there is like that. So all of you awaiting your babies from Claire, she will send you like a little photo album of all of her artist pictures of the doll when she completes it. And they're really great to just hold on to and have because it's part of the memory of getting this beautiful, gorgeous baby from the artist hands. I think it's really part of the you know, it's part of the experience, I suppose. So for me, you know, they're dated and they were in May of 2015 when I, you know, she's almost three years old and I can't believe she's almost three years old. It blows my mind because she doesn't look any different from the day she was, you know, sent to me when she was brand new. And I just, I don't know, I love to be able to go back and refer to them and see them. It's just really special to me. So I'm really, really happy I found them. And I will keep track of them much better. At some point, maybe I'll share some because her pictures are just her with the coloring and she just has it set up probably so that you can see the true colors and detail work in the painting, which I can't seem to get as close to here in the lighting I have in my space. So maybe I'll share some of those pictures with you guys. One of my favorite ones is actually where she's got a picture of her on her tummy and she's naked. Love it. Like, I totally love it. I want to put it, like, as, like, my screensaver because she just looks like a brand new newborn baby on her tummy without a diaper on. It's the cutest thing ever. So, love it. Just thought I would share that with you guys. I don't know. When y'all get your your pictures of your babies, I recommend prior to you bringing, getting your Claire Taylor babies home, I would put them in an album and keep them for safekeeping for later on because it'll, fun, it'll be fun for you to go back and revisit those and re-see them and just flood of emotions guys it's pretty awesome but anyways there is miss lucy in her new paz rodriguez little romper hope you guys liked seeing her in it i'm gonna go 
enjoy the rest of my Saturday and I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their Saturday. I hope you all are having amazing, wonderful, sunny weather wherever you're at as well. And little Miss Lucy and I, we will see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.